ground is uh, really important in the marine environment because as light attenuates with water depth, uh, sound becomes really important and it travels much, much faster underwater than in air. We need to distinguish between uh, natural and uh, uh, anthropogenic uh, noise. Noise produced by human activity uh, disturb uh, life in a marine and we need to reduce You know that the Adriatic Sea is a closed sea, or there is a connection with Otranto Strait to Mediterranean, and it's very uh, shallow. In the north part, it's deeply penetrated, the European Union, and uh, uh, there is a very heavy uh, traffic from the south e southeast part through Otranto to the north west part uh, toward the uh, big ports uh, in Italy, Slovenia and uh, Croatia. shout really loud in a, in a concert when you're trying to get uh, when you're trying to tell something to your friend you need to talk louder and uh, this is what has research has shown that uh, dolphins do uh, switch to different frequencies where they try to communicate at or uh, increase their communication signals the duration of their signals is an interact project between Italy and Croatia where the main objective was to establish a network of um, um, underwater noise uh, monitoring stations in the northern Adriatic Sea which is the first uh, network of this kind in the Mediterranean. So our uh, aim and what we actually did is to um, measure the underwater noise for, for one year continuously in nine stations in the North Atlantic Sea. and it measures uh, from few hertz uh, to up to 10 kilohertz in, this, in our case. The hydrophone is a cylinder, we open it and we take out this little card and we collect this and we download the data. Uh, 
the noise that's created by ships is uh, between the bands of 63 hertz, 125 uh, hertz, and then also we, we, cho we have chosen the frequency of 4,000 kilohertz, 4,000 hertz, because it's also uh, you know the frequency that two siops, for example, are using at 250 hertz. Sorry, it's also important. These are the four main frequencies where we are focusing. Although we we collect all the frequencies during the, our registration, from the frequencies you can also uh, distinguish between I don't know seismic sources or ships or uh, uh, other type of uh, of sound. Uh, but of course. Uh, also there you, you need to, to do a lot of processing to correlate the noise to, uh, the, the, to the source. can do. In real situation, transportation will be essential in future, but in that case we can probably just order to reduce the speed. If we study where is the nursery part of the Adriatic Sea, just we can probably change the route of ships. So we are trying to really um create uh, you know the baseline uh, a workflow that can uh, uh, give uh, also a spatial idea of areas that could be uh, really impacted by the noise and that needs to be protected <laughs>